Hello and welcome back to this RTC Road to Commander Race to Prestige. I am McFees and we're going to continue. I've been doing this for the past match. couple of videos. We're about halfway through the series now. 20 Move levels to go. Playing with Geo and Akil as usual. Or on the map Express. We're not under PDW silence or laser sight. We've taken the stuff. advantage. So, first item on the agenda today. Yeah, we're going to go like this. We're going to go Xbox One, Microsoft in general, Xbox stuff, and talk about a few games. So, first item that caught my attention, and you know, thought I'd talk about it a little bit, is um, Xbox One designed to stay powered on for 10 years. So, let's read this article. The Xbox One is designed to be powered for an entire decade and run almost silently, says the latest reports. That's according to Digital Foundry citing highly placed sources, who claim that the next gen console will keep itself cool enough to stay on for the entire entirety of its life. As part of this, and Microsoft's intention to keep the box at the heart of the home, the console was also designed to be near silent in its idle state. Noise and heat reduction, a subject that's close to Microsoft Hearts, the Red Room of Death problem, the blighted Xbox 360 was put down to overheating, and has also sounded like Concord taking off. These Red Room problems reportedly cost Microsoft over $1 billion. Here, yeah, I had the. Um, I'm playing on my fourth Xbox now, first three Red Ringed. So, yeah. I um, We've know lost what that feels control. like. Turn on your Xbox, you see those things like, no. But, um, We've taken the advantage. 10 years. Yeah. It's a bold statement to make. And to run almost silently in its idle state. I don't mean when you're playing a game or, you know, disc trace spinning. No. So, again, there's just, you know, playing on words to make it sound better than what it is, but I'm sure it might be a lot quieter than the Xbox is now. But then again, nobody knows really apart from Microsoft who made it, and obviously when a brand new thing comes out, it's going to, you know, be silent. But over a period of time, you know, you get dirt on that fan or it gets dusty, and you don't maintain it properly, it's going to get onto the fan blades which will you know, cause instability on the fan and make the bearing work quicker and that's where the noise comes from as well. drone ready for deployment. So yeah, I will uh, believe that when I see it, but um, I won't have my breath on that one and I'm Friendly willing UAV to try it out because what would have been point leaving it on for 10 years? And it says that's the entirety of its life, so missile on standby. 10 years and then the next one, or, you know, we'll have another 5 years until the next one comes out. Who knows? Okay, next item is Microsoft confirms Xbox One adapter for the Xbox 360 headset. The Xbox One will be com compatible with your current gaming headset with the use of a newly announced adapter. Following the revelation, the headsets won't work on the Xbox One as standard, and that a new headset won't come bundled with the next console. People started inquiring as to whether there was some way that Microsoft could fix it. Might seem like a non-issue, but for those of us that have reached out hundreds of pounds slash dollars or whatever on a high-end headset, we're eager to hear. Speaking on Twitter, Microsoft lead partner for the Xbox One, Albert. Penny, Penny Love, terrible, that's just names, I apologise, responded to the inquiry by saying we will have an adapter that allows current gaming headsets to work. He also said that the adapter won't come bundled with the Xbox One but will be sold separately. Well that's good, you know, maybe cost like $20 but it'll be worth it to, you know, if you've got a, a gaming headset, a proper one, like Tail Beaches, Astro, Tritons. Those kind of ones, they they don't come cheap. Tell which you can pick them up cheap, but the high-end ones, you know. Talking about 
hundred, hundred and fifty dollars, and then you've got your Astros at cheapest ones, I believe, like hundred and sixty dollars. Could be wrong there, upwards. So these headsets ain't, you know, cheap by any means. So buying, you know, like a ten, twenty dollar adapter, maybe is the best option than shelling out another hundred, two hundred dollars on a new headset. As well as forking out, you know, like five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars on the new Xbox One as well. So yeah, that's good news all around. There. Me personally, I got some beaches. I've had some triumphs. Well, my second pair of beaches. I like the beaches. Nice and comfortable. Do the job what they're supposed to do. I can, uh, you know, almost everything in a game. And it just improves your uh, game fight. experience by a lot. Now, if you haven't like tried a gaming headset or you know, don't own one, you may be thinking, how good could it be? Trust me, it is really good. I don't think it's as used to use a normal Stop. pair of headphones. Shot out. Stealth chopper. Do, you know, just to listen to music on the PC or you know stuff like that. And I didn't see really the big deal. And I finally gave in, gave one after. Akio Strafe was like, oh, you need to get one, he's sick. So, I bought them and I immediately noticed the difference. For instance, in COD, you could have people running around. Like, if you was in a room, you could have them running down like, a corridor or an alleyway. Really close to you, and you could... And after a bit, you could, like, pinpoint where they are. It was, uh, I don't know, kind of felt like cheating, but... Improved your game massively. So that's that. And we're now on to carrier as well, so we're getting through this. As I said, we're about halfway through this series now. It's Team you know, it's match. a long series. But that's kinda of my fault and um You are authorized to engage. Time. Like I, in future if I do one of these, it'll be the only thing I'll be working on just to get it out as quick as possible. But at the time I was working on Halo 4, this, and then by the time I got, you know, did all this and got sorted, other games were coming out that I wanted to cover and get out on the channel and stuff, so it kind of took a back seat. So, that's the the gist of what's been going on with it. Not like I've been I got bored of it and forgot about it and now I'm just doing it just to fill space. That's not the case. We've lost control. Now that there's not much coming out, it's giving me a chance to catch up on the backlog of these videos that I've got. So we've taken the advantage. Hopefully, it will be done very soon. Who knows? Okay, move on to Microsoft information. This is for the Xbox. I don't know if it's for the Xbox One and 360 or just for 360. So I've only just skimmed. Like read this briefly just to see if it's worth adding. So okay, we're going to this. Microsoft introduces Xbox Enforcement United program. Microsoft have announced the Xbox en uh, Enforcement United program joining the platform holders previously revealed a smart match and reputation system going to Xbox Live. Xbox Live Gold members can provide feedback on users who violate the Xbox Live code of conduct, aiming to give a sense of ownership on Xbox Live. It's a bit like, you know, you can report a player or recommend them, you know, avoid them, recommend them. Which, in theory, was a good system, but people would abuse it, like, you know, people got butt hurt because you just absolutely destroyed them in a the game, and they get all the friends to, you know, give neg negative feedback so it would go back on your reputation, and it just tend to something that really would, didn't work but in theory it was a good idea so we'll carry on reading this and see uh, what improvements are coming for those un unfamiliar with the Xbox Live policy and enforcement team we are a dedicated team of agents who work closely with you the community to identify and resolve issues that negatively impact your experience on Xbox Lives we possess 
process every complaint we receive, thousands a day, and many of them require a build. Rather than the simple judgment calls that every game tab is a profile content abides by the Xbox Live Code of Conduct. That's where the enforcement United Beta program comes in. We love that our community is smart and engaged, and we want to harness that talent to give a sense of ownership on the service. Okay. Let's continue. Snipers down, move up. We build in a series of carefully designed controls. We build in a series of carefully designed controls so no individual can can wield one check power over another. The system will also continually collaborate itself to understand how reliable data is and the source it comes from. Okay. The beta of the community feature that's been tentatively tied with Xbox enforcement. United is open for registration. I put the link in the description below for that. So, if you fancy providing your opinions and feedback on Xbox Live Code of Conduct, which is whether certain content and gaming tags are appropriate, you can get involved. It's hoped that the program will help positively shape your Xbox Live experience. Well, it can't be any worse than what the system turned into now. Really, can it? So. Yeah. Gun down. I don't know with the current system in place, my, my reputation is like 30% or something, and I hardly ever talk outside of party chat, so Keep people reporting me for like using language, and spotting conduct, talking trash. I'm like, how is this possible? I don't even like Grenade! go and game chat. No. Most of the time, I'm only playing by myself. UAV awaiting orders. Or playing single player games, which does not need communication. And 60% of the time, when you're playing by yourself, you're playing Cod or something. Half the people aren't got a mic, you know, half the people are playing like rap music and stuff. And you time for that. Or you get the little kid, like, you know, trying to rap on the mic, being Eminem and. Drake or someone, you know? I just want to play the game. I don't want to listen to this ish. But, um, yeah, so. Yeah. Apparently, I'm a bad person. According to the system thing. But, um, I don't think I am. Am I? Who knows? Okay, moving on now. You may know this um, mission directive achieved. system well done. recently rolled out, which was um, games free for gold. Or something like that. Where you get two games every month free if you're an Xbox Live Gold member. It was supposed to run up to November ish when the Xbox One came out, then extending it to a year. And now they may be thinking about, you know, extending that period longer. But there's been no more. Match said about that except for it's till the end of the year which is still good it's awesome free games are always welcome and it gives you a chance to you know check out those games that you may have been working on but Move didn't think ass. it was worth the money at the time and you just forgot about them and you know get them for free why not if you've got the space you've got no games to play at the minute because i know i haven't because game releases are pretty sparse we've taken the lead hopefully. Towards the end of this month, we've got uh, Saints Row 4 coming out, which looks amazing. Um, I think on the 13th, Payday 2, the heist is coming out as well. We've lost that also control. looks an interesting game. It looks like it could be a lot of fun. Only if you play it with Corp, though. So, yeah, okay. Uh, this month, this is August. Are we in August? Yeah, we're in August, wow. Time flies when having fun, huh? The first game available will be Crackdown. We've taken the lead. And that will be available to the 16th. Sniper, get down! And... I don't know what that is, except for it's a co-op game. It was released uh, around February time, 2007, so... More or less a launch title. I might check that out, I might not, but if, you know, if you're one of these people that like to play court with your friends and stuff, there's one court game for you right there. If you both haven't tried it, it could be a lot of fun, it could be rubbish, but 
most times when you're playing co-op, even the most, well not, I'm not going to say the most rubbish game, but you know, a game that doesn't appeal to your inner gamer, could become a bit more interesting in co-op, because you never know what's going to happen co-op, you know, someone could die hilariously and just make that experience a whole lot more fun for you. And the second game, I know I'm a 16th sec, but the live members can grab both Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising K0 for free. One's an arcade game, which was like an installment to what was coming in Dead Rising 2, which is K0. And it takes about, I'm going to say, two to three hours to do. I know I completely it pretty easily in about two hours and got all the achievements for it. I really enjoyed it and I did purchase Dead Rising 2 because of that but Dead Rising 2 is also another co-op game Dead Rising 2 K0 the arcade game is not a co-op game but Dead Rising 2 is a co-op game and it's another one of these you know if you played it you may know that the story gets a little bit stale towards the end and uh, yeah it's not that good gets a bit boring but I've not played it with co-op so hopefully I can persuade someone to play with me and uh, yeah those are your two games two co-op games so if you like a bit of co-op action try and persuade some of your friends to jump on with you and uh, play Dead Rising 2 is a two player co-op I don't know what the uh, crackdown is uh, oh, it's also a two player okay so yeah two two player games so you've got to persuade one friend that will play with you <laughs> I'm kidding don't you know well you could do but I know most Jack of the people reload. that I play hang around with mostly on Xbox Live we have the same taste in games and whatnot so it's all good okay we're sticking on the subject of deals that Microsoft are doing and today, well not today, but till the s um, sorry about that brain was like, I am not going to function properly and you were just going to say random words thanks brain, appreciate it <laughs> Rockstar is holding a big old GTA 4 sale on Xbox Live Marketplace right now you can pick up a Grand Theft Auto 4 Grand Theft Auto The Lost and Damned, Grand Theft Auto The Ballad of Gay Tony, all at a big 50% cut. As I said, I don't know when this deal ends, but if you haven't got GTA 4 but you've played it, because you know, UAV on standby. everyone's played GTA 4, Hunter killer drone on standby. Everyone's a gamer. If you haven't played it, then I recommend go playing it. GTA, you know, it's got a lot of friendly hunter killer drone deployed. adult themed stuff in it but it is a really good game one of those games that you can just jump on and just mess about if you're waiting for someone to come online or something so if you haven't got it go pick it up I believe it is priced at $9.99 dollars that is I'm not sure what the pound version is or the euro version is but It'll sell it on Xbox and also I believe the multiplayer is really fun as well so you know if you want to tag yourself over into a Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out and you haven't got it perfect chance to get it now it's on sale half price so all is good with that I might even pick it up myself even though I've played Grand Theft Auto I didn't own it Because it was one of those games that, you know, first off you start playing it, then once you've done it, you know, I'd say it's just one of those games you just jump on from time to time, but it's always nice to have a game like that. And how are we doing in this game? Let's see. We've got 3 minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. We're winning 58 to 37. You may know this is one of my least favourite maps just because of how it plays. It plays so slow and very rarely goes to the score limit it's always usually time limit because people just tend to camp at one end of the map with snipers 
and then don't move their feet. They just sit there, get killed, respawn with attack and say it, and then snipe you. This guy's probably been there for the whole game. You know, he's got his electrical thing UAV there ready to alert him. Shock charge, there we go. We're winning this we're using the MTAR. Yeah, we're using the MTAR. I like the MTAR, but the, if I could change one thing on it, I'm not sure if I do. If we change one thing on it, it'd probably be the rate of fire, but other than that, it's a really solid gun. But that's just my personal preference. Sniper, and, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure we should shut this game up before the time runs out. But then again, who knows? Because I said we've got to push this defence. We're all back there. We only need two kills here. Will we get them? One hey. kill. And done. Time. Uh, 15 and 7. 2.4. Uh, 14 execution. JD. Two assists. Not bad at all. Reloading. I'm getting a lot better with that KD ratio. In the past couple of years. And what is this guy doing? Doing a jump shot. That uh, guy's not even looking at him. This guy thinks he's MLG or something. Or it could just be what his um, game picture suggests. I'll leave it up to to decide. We're playing on Express again. It's not the same match, match, obviously. It's uh, for the five, is that? Interesting. So we're using PDW. I want solid execution. And uh, the guy wants there. solid execution. So uh, let's try and give him it. But anyways, we're getting off topic here. We're getting back into the game. Also, let me know in the comments below if you like how I'm doing this now with the moves and stuff or you prefer that how it did before you know doing like a running commentary of what's going on and my thoughts and stuff about the map of game guns I'm using and all that or if you want a bit of both we've taken the lead because I'm not bothered either way so you know feedback is always welcome So yeah, okay, anyways. Uh, where was I? Um, oh yeah, news, okay. Well, okay, this one is about a game that's coming out. It's coming out. So, 20th of August in the US, 23rd in Europe, which sucks. Why can't they do it at the same time? Makes no sense. Anyways, enough of that. Thanks for for it's modified. Passes with an MA-15 rating in Australia. Inbound. Now, I don't know if you're keeping up to date with this, but in Australia they actually banned Saints Row 4. Yeah, they banned it. It was the first game to be banned in Australia. We've lost the lead. So, you know, they've done a little bit tweaking and um, stuff to it. So let's read this article and see what it's about. Fair time, lucky for Saints Row 4. Attaining classification in Australia, having previously been refused a rating by the board, not just once, but twice. Now, local dis distributor AIE, all interacts with entertainment, has confirmed that Saints Row 4 has passed with an MA 15 plus rating in Australia. Thanks to the game being modified. As well as seeing a removal of games anal program, the modified, uh, the modified Australian MA 15 plus version of Saints Row will also be short one optional drug themed mission representing roughly 20 minutes of gameplay said mission involves the use of an alien narcotic that to, uh, to obtain certain superpowers according to a statement from deep silver but not impact the game's main story in any way the australian rate involves a that the mission had insufficient that's a big word the alienation between uh, the alien narcotic available in the game and the real world, world prescribed drugs. The board notes that the uh, label narcotic control. is commonly assigned to describe a class of real world drugs that Calm includes down. such prescribed substances as cocaine and heroin. This game therefore contains drug used related drug use related to incentive and rewards and should be refused classification. An AIE representative also stated that the anal probe weapon cut from the game could be 
reinstated with a future DLC pack so all is not lost if you're a fan of the dildo weapon and live in Australia Saints Row 4 is out in August really come on man it's a game it's a game no it's a game and if parents are going to buy young kids that no, before they're old enough or people who get it aren't old enough to play it then they shouldn't be playing it and the parents should get done for it the game shouldn't have to change it's got a rating on it you know but end of the day it is what it is and they can to modify it now so Australia you're getting a dumbed down version of the game many games have had to do this have no one instance was Fallout 3. The medics had to be changed from something to. I think it was Australia again. Because I think it was called Morphine or something beforehand, but um, they had to change it because of the Australian ruling. And uh, yeah, so that's why it's called Medics today. Pretty pumped for uh, GTA, GTA 4. No, I'm not GTA 5. Sorry. We'll be definitely doing a playthrough of that. Okay. So keep your eyes peeled around that time when the game comes out. And think through the fault. I've played the first one. Played single player co-op. Loads of fun. It's a game not to take too seriously. It's just full of you know adult themed. Fun. It's done. We know it's a game that doesn't take itself seriously, we obviously. Forward. And um, you can just have a lot of fun. UAV you know, co op orders. just adds to that fun. And um, UAV and yeah. So, watch out for that as well on the channel because I will be doing that as well, hopefully. And that will be in a couple of weeks as well. So. Okay. Busy couple of months, but um, that's what it's all about. Finally, some games coming out. And I may, this is not set in concrete, ruin and stone, or whatever phrase you want to use, but may even touch on payday 2 a little bit, depending if I can get anyone to play with me and do some recording. If not, then you know, I'll see what I can do, but no promises. And um, I guess I'll keep you informed before it comes out August 13. So I'll have a better idea of more around the time when that's coming out as to what is going on. So that's been the update. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, obviously it's not the end of the video because um, it's only got a few more minutes to go yet. Well, that's all the news we've got. As I said before, if you like this format or prefer the other one, or want a bit of both, let me know in the comments below. And I can easily adjust that for you guys. It's not a hard thing to do, you know, to interchange it. You know, add a bit of variety, but feed, I won't do it without your feedback, so don't be afraid to leave feedback. I'm not going to bite your head off. I will take it into consideration and make the best judgment about what to do with all the feedback, if any. And if we get none, then it's just going to stay the same. So speak up, let your voice be heard. And then you will have no problems. If you didn't like anything, you know, you've, you've, made, you've put your point across. And, um, you know note that you have been listened to that makes sense but anyways we're coming up to the wrapping point of this game i believe let's have a look we've got two minutes left winning 53 to 46 and nowhere we are going to get the time limit in here because i believe we still have four players on our team versus more or less a full team so this is definitely going to go down to the wire to the time limit 
Where's this guy going? Oh, we have a shotgun. I got destroyed. Oh, the pull in the back. 36 kills in it. 1 minute 35 left on the clock. So, can we do it? Will we do it? Who knows? 125, five kills in it. Oh my god. I bet Fees misses a guy running past him, but teammate got him, thankfully. And there's a guy behind us. He's just eating the bullets, and I get snatched in the back. Well, luckily, we're still six kills ahead with one minute five to go. All is good. Yes, I know we're winning this fight. We are watching the game you are watching, my friend. No need to tell us. Oh! The guy danced around the bullets. Yeah, as you can see, so he's only four of us. A lot of them. That's not a problem. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Be advised, not a you UAV. UAV incoming. Whatever will we do? There's only three kills left in it. Time's is getting done. reckless. Four kills, 30 seconds left. Can they do it? Can they do it? Can they bring it back level before the time runs out here? Four kills in it, 15 seconds to go. Highly doubt it. Five, three left. Five seconds on that clock. Let's see, let's see. And no, they do not. Time has been called. 1918 there. 1.60. Stand by for further orders. For assists. But we got the job done. And there is a kill straight there. Run around with a pistol. Shoots a guy in the back. Not once, not twice, but three times. And a fourth shot for extra measure. Anyways, guys, that's been the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like, a comment, and remember to subscribe. You can join us on Facebook and Twitter. Links will be in the description below. And I will see you in the next video.